Hey, so let's go through this uh, problem. We have a car that's loaded with uh, a brick and is pulled at a constant speed along an inclined plane to a height of the seat top. If the mass of the loaded car is 3 kilograms and the height of the seat top is 0.45 meters, what is the potential energy of the loaded cart at the height of the seat top? Okay, let's go through our five-step process. Let's draw a picture. Hey, it looks like our picture is already done for us over on that left side. Okay. Two, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the potential energy, gravitational potential energy. Okay, three, what are we given? We're given the mass of the cart is equal to, with the uh, brick, I guess, three kilograms. We're given the height that it's raised to, which is uh, 0.45 meters. And then something that's uh, not stated, but we know, and that is that uh, acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. Okay, step four, what are our relationships? Relationships we know for this case is that gravitational potential energy is equal to the weight mg times the height that it's raised to. Let's go ahead and solve that. So to solve, let's go put our numbers in. Our gravitational potential energy is the mass of our cart, three kilograms times gravity, or acceleration due to gravity, 10 meters per second squared. We can see that we have a, um, let's see, a weight of uh, 30 kilograms times our height, 0.45 meters. Let's go ahead and multiply all that. So we have 30 newtons times 0.45 meters equals 13.5 joules. Remember the unit of energy is the joule.